Hey there, friend. Cat Daddy Dave here, along with Rosalita. Shameless plug to start. More subscribers means we're able to make more content for you. So please take a moment to click the subscribe button. Yes, we thank you. So I get a lot of questions about what kind of toys blind cats love. There are a bunch, and I don't want this to be too long, so we'll take them one by one. This particular video is about the fishing pole toy. First, I have to say that it is vitally important to any feline's fitness, health, happiness, to get lots of exercise and playtime. And I don't care if this flies in the face of the opinions of the veterinary science community or the crazy cat people community around the world. Dude, everyone agrees that cats need playtime. Well, I didn't know that. But hey, I'm glad my message is getting out there. You're an idiot. In addition to being great exercise, aiding in digestion, and helping them maintain a healthy weight, playtime is important to cats for one really important reason. It's what they were born to do. See, I'm sure you already know this, but I'll go over it again for the slow folks. When cats are playing, they are not playing. They are hunting. Dogs were domesticated about 15,000 years ago, while these little guys have only been hanging with humans for about 4,000 years. From an evolutionary standpoint, it's only been a tick of the clock since they were stalking, chasing, and bringing down their own prey. And there's more after the bringing down part, but it's gross, so let's skip it. The point is, they're still getting used to this fancy domesticated life, and they still have a deep, burning need to hunt. So, that's where your cat toys come into play, or come into hunt. So, when I'm evaluating a new toy for my kitties, I ask myself one question. How closely will it approximate the movements and sounds of actual prey? And, if I'm being honest, whether or not it's on sale. So, today I'm going to show you Rosalita's and Shadow's favorite toy, and it's the Cat Fishing Fishing Pole toy. Incidentally, I receive neither money nor product from this brand. Just want to tell you about the things they love. What I love about this toy is that it not only provides some realistic hunting action, but it can also be quickly converted into an entirely new toy or prey. There's a third reason I love this toy, and it's that it allows me to be super lazy and not get off the couch while still providing my kids with a thrilling hunt. Now, one minor modification I made to this toy is the line it uses. It comes loaded with what I think is 0.5 millimeter elastic line, which is much better than standard fishing line for lots of reasons, but I found that it's a little easy for cats to bite through. So I simply swapped out the line for 1.5 millimeter elastic line. Let me also say, before you light your torches, that I am well aware that any kind of string can be dangerous for cats if they swallow it. So be sure to put the fishing pole out of reach when you're not playing with it. A fun toy is wonderful, but it quickly loses its appeal if it, you know, kills your cat. Now, a small problem I ran into after swapping out the thin line with the thicker line was attaching the snap swivel to it. Sidebar, never tie the line directly to the lure. This makes it a pain in the rear to swap out the lure. Just use the included snap swivel, and you'll probably want to order a few extra of these just in case you lose the one that they give you. So, back to tying the line onto the swivel. I'm going to be honest. I do a lot of sailing out here in San Francisco Bay, and I know all of the knots. You know seven. And I could not figure out which one would work with this thick, slippery line. So in order to withstand the incredibly high G-forces that a cat can apply to a toy, I got real high tech, and I used a space-age adhesive material called tape. What I did was thread the line through the lure's eyelet, giving it a good one and a half to two inches of play, and then using a roughly quarter inch wide and two to three inches long strip of duct tape or gaffer's tape, I would wrap the two sections of line together, doubling it back again with each wrap. Friend, there is no way that line is slipping through. Now, if you find that your cats suddenly don't seem all that interested in playing, it may not be that they're tired. They just might be over it. They've done the mouse thing for a while, and now maybe they want a fox, or a bird, or a chip clip. I don't know, just try different things. And don't make it too easy for them. Shadow gets really bored if I'm phoning it in and not bringing a certain emotional truth to my role as the prey. And when he makes a particularly impressive get, he knows it. And he'll come over so I can give him butt rubs as his reward. I just go to town on his butt, like a great masseuse or a terrible teacher. The key here is empathy, and I'm being serious there. Put yourself in your cat's place and imagine what you would want if your goal was to simulate hunting. Give the lure some realistic motion, some starts, some stops, sprints, jumps. For added realism, emit a high-pitched scream every time they make a good get. They'll know it wasn't the mouse and it was really you, but I think they appreciate that you're making the effort. Don't you? You appreciate it. I love you. 
Well, I appreciate that you made the effort to watch this video. And do me a favor, click the thumbs up if you liked it and click subscribe if you want more videos like this one. That's it, that's our video. Thanks for watching. I love you, I really do. And I love you, bye. Nice job, yeah, you did great. It was just like rehearsal, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the young woman you've become. You're a good person, cat. You're a good cat person. You wanna go to sleep? We should probably turn the camera off.